Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Pete Cittadini with Actuary Corporation, and I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, our first uh, series of uh, Data Driven Summit and Combined Customer Day. Um, as a matter of fact, I just wanted to sh see a show of hands as far as number of customers in the audience today. Could you raise your hands, please? Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate you being here. We appreciate you working with our products and creating some tremendous applications uh, based on BERT. Um, we also want to thank our distinguished uh, industry analysts that are here for a panel uh, to help us out. I apologize for the frog. Every time um, it's in my throat. Uh, every time I have a speaking engagement, invariably it happens. Or it may have been the cheap cigar that I smoked uh, yesterday afternoon. I can't really tell, but it ha happens quite often. Um, I have a bunch of new slides I'm going to spring on uh, the audience. It's supposed to sort of keep me in check uh, of exactly what I want to tell you. But at the end of the day, uh, with the slides being up, I may veer off a little bit because I want to really have some very focused, targeted, uh, honest conversation about a, a bunch of different techniques that will allow you to get to the next big application idea at your enterprise. Uh, that's what we're all about. That's what we try to innovate uh, every day. I think our solution uh, is a winner. It's certainly not the only solution out there. Uh, however, I do want to have some honest and frank conversation as to why you should seriously consider Actuate Corporation and the BERT product line uh, as part of your next big application idea. Okay. Well, let's look at the reality behind um, the next big application. Uh, the biggest likelihood is that it's already built and deployed and being used by users. Uh, the reason behind that is the reality of economics and time to market facets. And when we say applications, we're not saying desktop tools for, you know, people with the superior gray matter to f fumble and, and flip data. Um, only on an intranet uh, scenario. We understand the value of those products in the market. Actuate's not that type of pr product uh, or technology. When we say applications, we're talking about wealth management applications, risk management applications, treasury applications, uh, primarily consumer-facing applications. Now, we do a fair amount of inside the firewall applications, but we're best suited when you want that inside the firewall experience associated with users of your company to have the same experience, very powerful experience that your consumers have. We believe that's where BI is going, and that's why we've innovated our technologies the way we have. <clears throat> but again, if you believe the next big app is already built and deployed, you know that the users want better usability, more compelling visualizations, more interactivity, more personalization, uh, and the ability to access information from that application across a multitude of different devices. And believe it or not, today print is still very important to a lot of mission critical applications. Well, when we look at what the ultimate next big app looks like, is it's again leveraging the existing application that's deployed and its infrastructure because you've built and invested a lot, not only in design, development, and deployment of that application, but the infrastructure that sort of is underneath that application. And with Actuate, we actually leverage everything that is there. We're not going to put you in a position of a rip and replace strategy in order to force getting to the next big application. Imagine if you did that with all of the applications at a company like Goldman Sachs or Citigroup or Wells Fargo. It would be an enormous budget and it would take decades. So the whole rip and replace strategy for internal applications, either facing your users in-house or your consumers outside the firewall, it's just not going to happen as far as we, we can tell. So what we're suggesting you look as an alternative to getting your current applications to the next level and thus the perception that you have 
the next big application deployed at, at, uh, at your firm is actuate embedded analytics, which is what our products are all about. For more powerful visualizations, mobile support, advanced analytics that are then uh, brought through a multitude of different visualizations associated with your apps and personalized reports. Here, um, <clears throat> I'm showing you um, a correspondence that I got as a consumer from Goldman Sachs directly. Uh, just to show that people are indeed investing in bringing their consumers to the next level of experience. Here, I'll read a few of uh, the things here. It may be hard for you to see, see, but we're focusing on upgrading our infrastructure and leveraging technological innovation to enhance your experience. Notice they're talking about infrastructure. Today, the world is enamored with the desktop products that show the sexy graphs and interactive capabilities for one person, a one-to-one -one value chain between data, typically on a database on your desktop, and the visualization of that data. <clears throat> Goldman Sachs is really quite visionary. And when companies like Goldman say that they're going to a multi-year process in order to upgrade, not rip and replace, but upgrade their infrastructure for better visualizations to their consumers, it should give you the direct tie between infrastructure and the best online customer experience in the world. They are indeed tied together. But again, there are a lot of software providers that were really invented for business analysts and business users that want to fend for themselves that will try to convince you that that is the type of technology lacking infrastructure that you want to embellish your application with. And um, I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. We've seen many people buy the story but never implement a successful project. And again, what we're all about is implementation of successful projects that make you look good inside the firm and with your consumers because they're extremely important to the livelihood of your company. Now, Goldman Sachs, I have a fair amount of money with them. Look at the personalization on this. Dear valued private wealth management client. I feel really special getting this. Now, I was actually pleased that I got it because it actually is credibility to everything that we do at Actuate Corporation and we'll be saying at Actuate Corporation over the next several years. However, personalization, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, when I'm on the Goldman Sachs site, I like doing a dashboard that shows comparatives of different equities over an extended period of time. What would be nicer, what would be, and, and what I think Actuate and BERT technologies can lend to your current existing applications, or brand new ones if you want to build them with us, is something that said, Mr. Cittadini, we have noticed how extensively you, you use our equities comparative dashboard, and we are making this investment over the next several years, so your experience in that part of our website will be greatly enhanced. That would make me feel really, really good. And everyone has the ability of doing that. It's just you need to sprinkle in a little bit of uh, more innovative technology that not only has the visualization front end, but has tremendous integration capability and fortitude on the back end infrastructure, which is uh, what we're all about. Uh, moving on, <clears throat> you know, I, I talked about analytics. So we have a lot of third party um, data that we'd like to share with you during the course of the day as well. This one here from Forrester that says 29% of IT budgets are spent on new IT initiatives. Uh, I actually thought this was staggeringly high. Um, I guess in my day when I was selling um, directly, not that I'm not selling today, um, it was sort of between 10 and 15%. So I don't know the accuracy here, 
but clearly the bulk of all IT budgets are there to maintain current infrastructure and to upgrade infrastructures based on the requirement for more capacity. Uh, there's very, very little left associated with new initiatives. Thus, it's of paramount importance that you rip and replace the applications where the bones just don't exist anymore. In other words, there, are, there aren't good bones associ associated with that application. It really can't be enhanced for whatever reason and spend a fair amount of money on those few applications and then the majority of that money associated in evolving virtually every application that you have, certainly on the consumer facing side and in some cases on the uh, employee facing side. But economics is a big issue with a rip and replace strategy. Uh, moving on to other third parties, Gartner basically says that you use embedded analytics to really get the value of analytics to the masses. They really do understand that there are the, again, superior gray matter people that want a ad hoc analytical environment that sits on their desktop attached to data where they can look for trends uh, over a three hour, three week, three month period. The end result of that exercise is super important. But then those technologies really don't have the ability to embed the summarized information from that analytical journey into an application and distribute it to the masses. And again, that's what Actuate does. We not only allow you to do the analytics, but if you want to do the analytics with someone else, we'll allow you to operationalize the end results of those analytics to a very large population of users, well beyond uh, users that can comprehend, let alone work with true desktop analytical products. So again, Gartner, condoning uh, embedded analytics as a big market opportunity uh, around the globe. Moving on to uh, Howard Dresner and Dresner Advisory Services. This is sort of fresh off the press. He's been looking at embedded uh, BI. We call it embedded analytics. He calls it embedded BI. They're virtually the same. Uh, and he's really been um, doing quite a deep dive on it over the last couple of years. And uh, as of the market study in 2014 with regards to embedded business intelligence, um, you see that the growth of embedded analytics is critical to very important to my firm, to my application, to myself, has grown uh, dramatically. So it's a real market. Um, I would say it's still emerging and I think it's going to have legs for a multitude of decades ahead, which is very, very exciting to us. Now, how does Actuate sort of help you with embedded analytics? We do have a technology stack, but it very simply breaks down into two primary components. Uh, the first component is the open source BERT interactive development environment with which you can build um, any visualization regardless of complexity um, and have it access n amounts of data from one or many disparate data sources. And the cool thing about BERT is it is completely free. It's an open source product. We've been privileged with 13 and a half downloads of the product uh, since inception. Inception was roughly 2005. And today we have a very big community of three and a half million plus developers around the globe, uh, which helps from a resource, resource standpoint on um, your requirements for resource. As you know, resource requirements ebb and flow. The cool thing about an open source, highly ubiquitous product is there'll never be an issue in getting the appropriate resource at the right economics with BERT on a global basis. Very active uh, online community, uh, and you can check it out at our, our website as well. The other um, substantial part of what we do, uh, and this product until this year was completely commercial, uh, today we have a freemium offering of this product as well, is the BERT iHub. And this is our infrastructure product or platform, if you will. So whatever you design 
to be visualized with BERT, picks up a multitude of different services associated with this infrastructure. So as you create data services, platform services, analytic services, custom services or algorithms that are appropriate for you or your derivatives group or your marketing group that can be reused by tapping into the platform. That's the real power of what the BERT technology stack does is the reusability. The changing things once in a platform and it rippling out positively to hundreds of different applications that were developed with BERT uh, and visualization services. So, so to us, it really is a platform that turns data, and we're here for a data-driven su summit. We understand that data is sort of the bottom of the pyramid and most voluminous. The reality is, um, you know, harnessing that amount of data for very targeted, focused applications is quite difficult. However, with Actuate, it turns all of that volumes of data into information as it resides physically in the BERT iHub. And what that means is there'll be dashboards, there'll be gadgets, there'll be statements that could be cached in persistent fashion or that can be run on demand and available immediately for the application to use directly out of the iHub when the requirement is there. So we have data at the bottom of the stack. We have the iHub, which converts or transforms data into information. The magic is with the embedded capability of this technology stack, when you embed certain information within specific applications, so it's served up at the right time, you now have converted data through information to true intelligence. Because the application gives the information context. And information coupled with context equals intelligence in the world of application development. So again, it's a very, very unique set of technology. It's a very different uh, and unique strategy that we're bringing to market. But we think it's a, it's a big, big winner. And for developers, when you look inside of the F-type, and of course, you know, developers are required with Actuate products, develops, build the apps once, and then they deploy those apps to many users of the application. But what they get thrilled about is the comprehensive, elegant um, set of APIs that they have to work with. And this is just a subset of the APIs. And as you know, an API doesn't ju just do one thing. You can do arbitrarily complex programming, manipulation, and visualization of data to information to intelligence with these APIs on a control by control level. And uh, a few gentlemen from Actuate are gonna show you a demonstration shortly after the keynote. And um, I think you'll get a kick out of what the APIs can do for you. How far reaching they can get to a multitude of different devices in order to accommodate enhancements and evolution in applications that are currently existing. But again, this set of APIs will dwarf any other um, software vendor's APIs that consider themselves embedded analytics or embedded BI. Of course, the end result is very high value, very cool, very relevant uh, information that goes to paper, touch devices, mobile devices, uh, browsers, things of that nature. And I mean very, very compelling. So again, this is the end result of the embedded process, taking data through information into intelligence because the information is now being viewed in context of the application. And uh, this is what makes us very proud of what we've been able to enable our clients to do. We have some of our clients build applications that we don't even believe were buildable, and we receive tremendous inspiration from them. And they drive us through the end results of their visualization tier to continue to innovate and innovate and innovate uh, on this type of technology's behalf. 
Finally, I want to wrap up with a slide that uh, shows you, again, through Howard Dresner. He's, he's got the latest out on uh, embedded analytics, so we did want to use the latest and greatest information. It really seems like we're picking up notoriety, if you will, in the world of embedded analytics as being the leader there, uh, especially per Howard Dresner. And, um, you know, that's gratifying. But I got to tell you, we feel so strongly about this market uh, and the merits of this market in bringing value not only to brand new applications, but even more importantly in my eyes, to currently existing applications that want to get a new application look and feel to it through our embedded technology. We in 2015 are going to double down our investment in a very, very big way on continued innovation associated with actuate dominating the world and the market of embedded analytics. And I think what you'll see today will make you extremely, extremely excited and happy, but basically we're just getting started. And I think if you return next year and you see the evolution and what we've been able to do in a short 12 month period associated with the, the embedded analytics market and applications that, uh, that go that direction, you'll be extremely impressed. So at some point, if you think embedded analytics is for you, um, we would love for you to consider Actuate's technology, which is the BERT technology stack, as an enabler within your company. And if you do choose us, I will personally guarantee that you'll have success on whatever project you work with us on. It's an easy promise for me to make because we've, in 20 years at Actuate, never let one project down, ever, ever. Now, they weren't all smooth sailing, and at times I had to go from three people working on problems to 30 people working on problems. But that's sort of what you get with Actuate. You not only get great product, you get a realistic attitude that there's gonna be ups and downs, but you get a commitment and a very disciplined commitment on us being behind the success of that project each and every time. Great. Thanks, Pete.